Hey guys, my name is Noah. Welcome to another Hookah Review. Today we're talking about Trifecta Pulp Friction. I'm so glad to be bringing you guys this review because this is such a great company. All their dark leaves, all their shoes in general are just so fantastic. They know exactly what they're doing and they're just rocking it. I'm a little bit out of it today even though it's such a beautiful day in Southwest Florida. It's the end of December and last night I went and saw Rogue one such a quality movie i won't spoil anything for you but you gotta watch that movie it's so good the perfect like placement movie in the star wars series what are we working off of today is my glass hookah with a custom made stand my mason onyx bowl and my ignis on top and of course my fancy tongs and my dream hose also i've got my three Hookah John Titanium Coals in the bowl with the top on it right now. So we're just killing it. I love this flavor. I love everything about it. Let's get right into it. I'm going to take a sniff, show you this packaging. I mean, this is just like Lavoo's packaging when I talk about it. I love the twist tops. I love the plastic containers. They're just so great, so airtight. They're wonderful in every single way, and I love this company for that. Now, I know that they're... Their regular blonde blends don't come in the twist tops, unfortunately. They come in cans, but if you're getting a dark leaf, you can get it in a can if you get the big enough size. So that's awesome. I love it. No dates on it, no expiration. You know it's a pet peeve of mine, but life goes on. Now let's take a sniff and see what kind of flavors we get out of this. Man, you just get these nice, amazing orange and lemon and a little bit of grapefruit, just these nice beautiful fresh citrus flavors it's like you just cut open a fresh fruit and you're just taking a sniff of it it's so stinking good and the only pet peeve of mine that i have as you can see the first thing i'm showing you when we're packing this is there's a lot of stems and they're big stems and the cut is not perfect there's some big chunky pieces sometimes um you know and that's just not good because the stems are i mean i use them i usually just cut them up and leave them in there but it's just an annoyance it's not a good thing but life goes on so how are we gonna pack this we're gonna throw it in the bowl and we're gonna get it I like to put it all in there and then put your heat management device on top push it down figure out where those nubs are and get the shisha just touching the nub so it's perfect once you're done with that you put your coals in you put it on top and you are good to go look at these clouds I've been smoking this now for about 30-45 minutes. I just put two new coals on. I've got three in there, like I said. This shisha can just take the heat. You can put four coals in there and you're going to be rocking it. It doesn't matter. You can put five coals in there, no top on it, and you're still going to get great clouds. You're not going to get a burn taste. This stuff takes heat well, and the more heat you give it, the more flavors come out of it. It's so amazing. And that's kind of the interesting part. So when I started this, I had three coals and they kind of burnt down a little bit. So they're a little bit smaller since I was setting up for the video. And I was getting a lot more sweet citrus flavors. It's very interesting. And when I smoked this before, I got the exact same flavor every time, which was these amazing lemon and orange and grapefruit. And it's not like fresh. It's like bitter almost. It's like the zest. I've seen a lot of people say it's the zest of it. And that's what it is. It's the rind zesty deliciousness. It's not a sweet, overly sweet flavor. It still has the sweet notes in it, but it's more of a zest flavor. And it's so amazing. You can definitely mix this with mint and it makes it so much better. You know, if you put it with some uh, death by ice or twice the ace extreme, you're just going to bring out more of a little bit of sweetness and that's going to help with the flavor a little bit if you're not used to the bitter flavors. But man, this is so good. It's one of my favorites. I love matching this up and just smoking it with a little bit of mint in it. Right now, Singularity though, as is, it's so stinking good. I have nothing bad to say about this flavor. Is it a daily driver for me? Absolutely not. I wouldn't smoke this every day. It's just not one of those flavors that I'm in love with. It's more of like a 7 out of 10 for me. Is it a fantastic flavor? Yes. But it's not a daily smoker. As for everybody else who's smoking this, it's it's probably about, I would say, for what it is, the packaging, the smoke, the heat you can put on it, this is like a 9 out of 10 for me, guys. The only thing that holds it back from being a 10, like I said, is the cut and how many stems you find and the cut's just rough and you have to take you know, a knife to it sometimes and get a little bit chopped up. But other than that, man, you guys are going to love this flavor if you have not tried it. If you have a local um, smoke lounge and they have these flavors, go try it out or just go buy a canister of it because it's totally worth it. You're not going to you're not gonna regret buying this flavor because it's such a great mixer as well as a single smoker. It is a dark leaf, so that's a fair warning to you. The buzz is not um, as heavy as some shishas, but it's still got a good buzz to it. It's going to get you going, so be wary of that. 
like I said, guys, this is just a great flavor. You're going to love it. I love it. Everybody loves it. Leave a comment down below, though. Let me know what you think. If you smoked this before, maybe you had a different experience and you want to let me know about it. Or just let me know that you loved it. I love to hear that stuff and that we can smoke the same thing and have such a great community going. Like and subscribe. I'm going to keep doing reviews, keep doing setups, and keep having a great time. If you want to see something specific reviewed, let me know. If you want to see me build something specific, be like, I want you to build something out of an avocado. I'll make an avocado bowl. I'm totally down for that. Who knows what it's going to taste like, but I'll try it out. My name is Noah. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week.